Hey, I'm going, man, before you take advantage. Hey, Molly, I'm outside the studio. All right, go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. They need you on set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus, are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him. Where is my movie star? Where is my movie star? Anyone know who this guy is? Is this the new stun guy? At least get him a mask or makeup or something. I'm Please, not paying the excess. I think you underestimating the value of this automobile. Or overestimating your own talents. Uh, I think you're underestimating what I get paid. You get paid a couple million for a morning's oh, see you later. Get a couple million for a morning's work. Shit, I should sack my agent. Yeah, shit. Yeah, fools. Shit. This isn't happening. Stockholm Syndrome won't work on me, fuckball. Look. 
I respect you as an artist and a human being, but I got other priorities. What happened when I pressed this? Get to the side of the road! I've been abducted by a crazed fan! Girl, please! I like some of your work, but don't get ahead of yourself! What's wrong with you? Didn't your parents love you when you were a child? My dad disappeared. My mom was a crackhead. But that ain't what this about. My parents loved me so much they... You dick! They put me in a little lacy surprise campaign when I was three. Mm, good for you. I didn't work till I was teen. You are so going to get the electric chair. This is more lethal injection. Gas chamber kind of state. But thank you. People who hurt celebrities are treated worse than pedophiles in prison. And rightly so. Whatever you say. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? Oh, I'm another sacrifice to the god of celebrity! This ain't a sacrifice. It's a carjacking. Now calm the fuck down. Everyone wants a piece of me. Directors, agents, fans. But you, you've taken the whole thing. This ain't about your ass. It's about this ride. Bullshit, this is about the car. Guess what? When you got that old wrinkle-tight, fucked-up, chemical-filled-ass face, this ride will still be beautiful. I'm getting out! Good luck with that. I'm gonna scratch your fucking eyes out! Scratch my balls! If you have the car, bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can change his route and meet you there. Yeah, okay. Because I got the car and it was messy. That's fine with us, but your associate, Michael DeSanta, has done some work at the studio and he might not be so happy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What kind of shape is the car in? Well, whatever. We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spike and ejector seat need replacing too? Uh, both of those are going to need replacing, all right? Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. Yes. Now, talking to journeys, every last bit of this crazy journey we are on is called getting respected by any means necessary. I take pride in what the hell you looking at. Because that lets me know what the hell I got. See, Cheryl? Enjoy the view. Enjoy the view. It's a horizon over there. <laughs> You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorten them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Oh shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, look, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get out like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim.
presence calm? I am calm, but I'm also angry. That is a duality. That's what Dr. Randy Angelo Harris is all about. Duality. That's dumb luck Two right there. Duality. Do you understand what I'm about? I can't be understood by you. Right? I'm talking a foreign language to you. I'm amazing. You understand? Just give me another call and stop playing a woman call. Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert? Out by Alamo Sea? All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> ah, listen, I'm beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And that, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes. Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition it. Fantastic! Let's go! I'm in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. And watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! The weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... All right, let's go! What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. we got to meet them in the air. I... Uh, uh, okay, well, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist, giving back the hardware. That was bullshit! Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merriweather networks? Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I gotta. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. 
What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultant's fee and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards and merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Hove Beach to Vespucci. I want country clubs and a depressed wife with blonde hair and a hot little secretary who bounces on my boy. Maybe if you'd buy into Oscar's business, I'm hearing there's a lot of bounce in the firearms sector. Well, I heard there's a lot of bounce in your head. Where's the TP Enterprise windfall, huh? It takes time. Time and money. Sure, and Michael Townley, the Santa, the fuckface is gonna give that to me. Just the plane I need to take on a heavily armed, tax-funded militia. Get in touch with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. I'll get you on the CV! here, bullying, reckless, totally selfish, do the things that make me me. Like kidnapping the wife of a powerful Mexican gangster and flying a crop duster toward a jumbo jet loaded with mercenaries. Exactly! Everyone's so hung up on appearances in LS, you start to forget who you are. And if you ain't who you are, who the fuck are you? You're the most honest, principled man I know, Trevor. A man of integrity. 
1989 crop duster. Just enjoying the beautiful San Andreas weather. Unidentified aircraft. Divert your course or we will be forced to shoot you down. Shoot me down? Now that's not very sociable. Right. 
neutralized. Change bearing or we will engage. I don't think you understand the effort I've gone to be here, pal. Trevor! Shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down! I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God! The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Ah, oh, good idea! But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay, look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. 